I'm good, I'm good, sweating. Hate it. Okay, I'm shiny. Should we do this? Let's do this video, okay. Um, oh my god, hi. So, I've been wanting to make this video for a couple days. I have nothing planned. I have some things I would like to touch on in this video, but like, if it comes out, it comes out. And if it doesn't, I'll make more videos. <laughs> so, I, mm, do I want these out? It's such a cute bra. I just want you to see it, even though my tits are like down here. But <laughs> Great, 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 great. So I've had the blessing of just having so many of you come along over time now, watching my covers and getting to know me as a singer. But I was a vlogger first and I first turned on the camera so I could talk to people and talk to you all. So today, since there are so many new faces and names here and just like a lot of numbers, I wanna make it a little more personal, turn y'all into people in my head, you always are but a reminder is good. Um, and tell you some random facts about me, just to just to get us started, you know? So you know that I'm more than just like a cute face who can sing. Whew, so, uh, so great, here we go. <laughs> so my name, hi, is Christiana. These never work out, why do people do this? My name is Christiana. That feels so weird to say, it always has. I always dread introducing myself to people, and I meet a lot of people. I'll get to that in a minute, but I find myself always cringing when I have to introduce myself to people. And it's not that I hate my name, it's just, one, it has never felt familiar to me. Christiana saying that, I always feel like I'm saying it wrong, and it's my name. Um, like that's how unfamiliar it feels. I know people either aren't gonna remember it or they always get it wrong <laughs> when they try to say it back to me. And then there's a whole thing that makes my mom cringe and like crawl out of her skin when people say Christiana because they think Christianity instead of Christiana, which is what my damn name is. But anywho, aside from other people's errors with my first name, not to mention my last name is French as fuck, Perot, but it's spelled like Peralt. So <laughs> you can imagine my whole life has just been like, who the devil's trying it? It's really not that bad, but if you have an interesting name, you get it. But especially as I'm coming into my own as an artist and realizing I can be whoever and whatever I want, um, I've always found it really interesting, the whole idea of identity and getting to choose who I am or just choose how I express who I am to other people and so like on my Instagram which great plug-in early on in the video even though it's been like what seven minutes I talked so much that's why my Instagram is the lady C because a good friend of mine called me lady C just growing up hanging out together and I think the name that I really want to go by when I finally put out my EP which is coming this year more details in another video did I just put a hole in the wall great the name that I do want to go by is another nickname that came out of one of my great friend groups. So we gonna see, but my name, it's, it's just kind of there. I don't know, I try not to think about it too much. Although I think about it all that time. But anyway, so that's my name and the fun story behind that. If I don't stop hitting this wall. Okay, so aside from my name, I think it's really interesting where I came from. So I was born and raised in a theatrical family. My mom and dad, beautiful interracial couple my mom being black and my dad being white i consider myself backwards if you're a mixed kid you might know what i mean because i feel like it's more common the other way around so like i'm just here being beige uh, loving it <laughs> uh, i could really get into that uh, as far as being mixed if that's something any of you are interested in because i feel like no one talks about it Ooh. especially being mixed in america it's like by breathing it's a statement um, but yeah, another video for another day. Look, all this content, just making itself up. Love it. I've been gone for too long. Now it's time to bring it back. Is that how it goes? Okay, anyway. Um, what was I saying? New camera by the way. Isn't this great? But yeah, my parents met doing theater together. Like they met doing a show. I think that's where they first saw each other. And they've been in love ever since. And then they made me and my beige ass was born and raised doing theater. I never remember choosing it, but like, I was never against it either. So I've been performing my whole life. But I only started singing 
around like 12, maybe 11, 12, 13, around then, um, in church. And that's where I learned like how to sing without, you know, anyone like teaching me. If you grew up in church, you get it. I always joke and say I could harmonize before I could sing, cause it's true. And thank God for the ear I have musically. Like I get music better than I get speaking or I don't know, like I pick up on rhythm and pitch and harmony like super well. <laughs> I'm like cringing when I say pitch because all I can think about is those millions of comments on the red bone cover like, your guitar is out of tune, bitch, I know. If I could go back and change it, I would. Did I know the video was gonna go viral? Hell no, but here we are, you're still subscribed and sexually confused, lit. Anyway, so I've always had an ear for music, but it was around like, 11 or 12 that I started like singing in church and I was a little younger when I started teaching myself piano by ear Dumbo over here <laughs> and then around 12 or 13 when I picked up guitar for the first time and My dad plays guitar and he would have music books from, uh, With like the church songs with the chords written in he didn't need the chords, but like I Was curious and that's how I learned how to play guitar. So thanks dad for unknowingly and indirectly teaching me how to play guitar. Love you, dude. Um, yeah, I'll always remember it. There's this one time, one of the few times anyone's ever taught me something musically. I just remember my dad, like, I think I asked him about how to switch between chords, because it was just so tricky and I was brand new to it and my fingers hurt. <laughs> he was like, he taught me this really cool, like, walk up of chords. I wish I had my guitar. That's the hard part about being on tour, which I'll get to in a second. He taught me this cool walk up in the key of E major. It sounds like something Israel Houghton does, but yeah, I'll never forget that. I still use it to this day. <laughs> One trick pony. Everyone thinks I'm really talented. I'm just really good at doing the same thing over and over again and making it slightly different. Bitches love a minor seventh, what can I say? It's a panty dropper. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Anyway, um, it was by chance that I picked up singing and making music. I just liked it. I just loved to do it. And then once the internet got involved, now, like even just starting this past year, ever since I uploaded the Redbone cover, it's been like, oh, okay, this is a real thing. Like, this is probably what's gonna what well, it is what's making me known and it's probably gonna be like my thing um until i want to do something else but <laughs> i think this is good for me it still doesn't make sense all the opportunities that have come my way um as far as making music and people who want to work with me and who believe in me and want to develop me as an artist but i'm just continuing to do my part and then keep my sails open like on a on a ship it's a, it's a big analogy that someone told me once in a studio. Like, keep doing what you're doing, keep rowing your boat, but keep your sails open and let the wind take you. Just be ready, you know? Anyway, wow, what is this video? So yeah, I'm just going with it and we'll see where I end up. Hopefully the Grammys. Screw the Grammys, Kendra got a Pulitzer award. Let's go for that. <laughs> World peace. <laughs> But actually, that'd be cool. So there's that. Oh, so I mentioned being on tour. So my job, which I kind of allude to here and there on Instagram, in my journal entries of captions that I put under my photos, I just, I have so much to say. Honestly, my Instagram is more for me than it is for you, but the fact that you guys wanna like listen and read, that's cool too, but it's more for me. Glad you're here though. So my job is, I'm an actor, a traveling, performing, working, employed actor, <laughs> hallelujah. So that thing, the whole theater thing that I grew up doing has served me well and I'm able to make my living performing and right now I'm in a show called Beehive with, there's six of us in total, with five other fierce belting queens whom I love so much. And we're in rehearsals right now. I'm in Cleveland right now. I don't know when this video is gonna go up. Hopefully before the end of April. But hey, if you're in Cleveland, come see it. May 5th or 4th, 5th through the 20th. Um, come through. I'll leave a link if you're really interested. I'd love to see you though, that'd be cool. And then I go to Boise at some point and then Lake Tahoe with this show 
and then that'll bring me to the end of this year. And then I get to focus on my music thing. But the thing, the great thing about this job, being an actor and being on tour with this show is that it gives me time to work on my music. So I really have like the ultimate setup. I'm so grateful. <laughs> I like happy cry at everything these days because I'm just so damn sentimental about how good God has been. So that's lit and uh, I feel really lucky and really blessed and even though today's a good day, is this a fun fact? This is not a fun fact but I like when people I look up to just mention that they deal with the same very human dark things that everyone deals with so today's a good day yes but I deal with severe um, depression and mild anxiety that was the diagnosis they could have traded who knows depends on the day um, oh so like even though I am an optimist till I die like a dangerous optimist it's it'll probably get me killed one day like just being so hopeful <laughs> This car won't hit me as I run into traffic. I don't know. This is getting really morbid. Okay, um, that's just my humor. My brand. <laughs> Even though I'm very aware of how blessed I am, sometimes I feel guilty and I'm just waiting for the other shoe to drop for the rug to be pulled under me and everything to go away or everything to go to shambles or for someone I love very much to die. Um, like out of the blue when things are going really well because that's happened before um, but that's life but I also try not to expect the worst I think I say all that to say I'm very aware of my blessings and that my life isn't normal I don't really subscribe to the word normal in my fucking bowler hat that was like the most hipster trash thing I could have said. Gets a septum, suddenly she's hardcore. I don't subscribe to normal. <laughs> Hate it. But no, nothing about my life is conventional or normal at all. It's normal to me. So I'm very aware of the interesting life I lead that is very flashy sometimes and very much so a blessing overall. And I'm also aware that it's not forever. It's temporary and we're all gonna die one day. Um, and I say that as a freeing thing. To just be like, you know, live in the now, fucking all of that. Right, so <laughs> what else? Okay, let's really like shoot out some fun facts. Oh, oh my God. I love wine, dark, a good cab, Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, I'm 22. I have, I have this dream that I think will come into fruition, but I have this dream to one day before I die, I want to put out a pinup calendar. I mean that with everything in me, every fiber of my being. I've always wanted to be like a pinup model. I just, mm, maybe that'll be my brand, who knows? I could wear a wig. Shit, I'll be a bald pinup queen. Anyway, better boop, okay. Yeah, so that's a thing. You'll hear me say the word queen a lot because one, I was raised by the gays in the theater. Um, and also, strong women are th the biggest force in my life. I live for queendom, queen supporting queens, like female empowerment, like, oh my God. I think women are the best thing to happen ever. Have you read Genesis? It's pretty lit once Eve arrives. And yes, I hated her for a long time, but then I played Eve in Children of Eden, rocked that shit, made some great friends, belted, I think, an F, the spark of creation. But I played her and now I have more understanding. Like, women keep it lit and we get the job done. Oh my God. Anyway, so yeah, women are great and I'm proud to be one. I love ramen noodles. <laughs> I love food. Not a lot of things make me happier than food and drinks and a party to go to. Oh my God, nothing makes me happier than getting ready for a big event or a party. I love dressing up, like I live for that. That's why when I say I live to serve a look, I'm not kidding. That doesn't mean I'm vain, I just love dressing up. That's who I am. I'm, I'm 22, I'm a Pisces. <laughs> so that explains my creativity and why my highs are very high and my lows are very low. I was born on March 4th, which is fun because it's a sentence, like March 4th. I want to get that tattooed somewhere. Also, I want so many tattoos. I would love a sleeve. Mm, okay. I don't know. Um, I'm... Is this a fact? 
It's true right now. It's been true for most of my life. I'm single. <laughs> I hate it. Um, I don't, mm. I've, <laughs> I don't even, is this a fact? Should I put this in the video? Probably not. I've kind of always been single. Here and there I've had situationships and people to talk to and a special somebody sometimes. Um, but I don't think anyone's called me mine. I've never called someone mine. Um, I won't get I won't get into my love life today, but I'm single. And I say that so that you understand how serious I am about my work and my music because I always put that first. Um, also, I'm a vulnerable creature. And if I'm gonna waste my time liking someone, uh, uh, then it needs to be good because, oh my God, I hate pain. Like, gross. Like I said, I'm a Pisces, my lows are very low. But I mean, hey, the heartbreak makes for a good EP. The album is going to be fire. Um, and on that note, I'm done here. Wish I had something to cheers you with. That was water. Stay hydrated. I love you so much. Um, I'll see you soon.